what's up everybody this is jasmine from 1207 and we're here at rare radar and you're watching the celebrating her series my journey into veganism actually started maybe almost 10 15 years ago um, i actually started when i was a junior in high school and it was actually a challenge from my stepfather and uh, we decided that i could no longer eat meat and i just kind of took on with it um, in the beginning i didn't have any real honest reasons for doing it more than just I didn't really care too much for me mm -hmm. um, but now it's more of a journey into health and uh, more understanding myself and my body and um, trying to choose the best healthy habits that I can for myself so that I can teach others how to do the same uh, I would actually just recently call myself a chef I wouldn't actually call myself a chef before I actually went to culinary school for only a year I never even graduated um, but I did learn a lot in the process. I uh, did travel around a little bit after college. I learned all my skills and my trade more when I was younger before I even went to college. Uh, in my family and cooking at home and just trying to make the best out of whatever it was. Uh, it's kind of how I figured out how to mess around with flavors. When I got to culinary school, um, I was already vegetarian. So I went through the program not being able to eat the meat and um, stood in the back of the sit so in the back of the classroom after class and I would taste the spices in my hands and I would just remember the smells and the scents and I would just be able to match stuff and that's kind of how I learned how to cook all of my jobs I had never I pretty much never tasted anything I've ever eaten I made honestly so it's pretty much all in my head and I kind of just it's like a science our company actually originally wasn't vegan so our first event had meat in every way you could have it. We made bacon and turkey burgers and everything you could think of. And then we kind of, my business partner and I, who's also my partner, kind of decided that we wanted it to be more along the, line, along the lines of our lifestyle. So we decided to transition the company into more of a plant-based role. Oh, when we were first started, we were just doing meal prepping. And we had a couple private events just to try to get our name out there. Um, it went pretty well. Um, we actually had a lot of people show up, but we knew that if we could we knew that if we could use our gift to be able to capture more people or maybe find a smaller niche that would actually be able to target a certain demographic, we decided to go for the plant-based um, area. We already knew a lot about vegetables and about um, cooking and we both love food and we knew we both had a palate that was well, well trained and we, it can all be kind of hard being a woman entrepreneur. Sometimes it's got its upper hand and then sometimes you, draw the short end of the stick and that's just how it goes uh you you're in a we're in a in a company that of our own and when we walk into a place people don't look at us like business owners they see us as um they see us as someone who is not as well versed in any area we could be going into city hall we could be walking to get a permit we could go into a store just to buy food um when we when people un realize that we're the owners of the company they kind of look at us a little differently but you also have to run into even in the culinary industry just being a white male dominated industry you don't see a lot of black females at all and the ones that you do see are usually in the kitchen behind the scenes and they don't really do much as far as creating food or even running the company um, so when people see us they're kind of excited to see these are the faces behind the company and we're learning more so now that people enjoy the fact that being a black woman owned company um, is a minority to others but it's a big deal to us because we're doing a lot doing something that a lot of women out there don't think they can do if you want to become vegan i say give it a try uh, there's not really much there's not really much out there that can't be discovered these days They've got vegan meat substitutes for those people that are interested in that, people that are interested in the healthy route. They have blogs and they have recipes all over. And it's such a, at this point, sometimes I'm sad to say it, but it's such a trend right now that it can be, you can find the food anywhere. And so if it's something that you want to try, I think now is the time to do it. Because when I started, there weren't this many options and it was a lot more difficult um, to be able to find things outside of cooking in your own home. So. You have the tools and if you want to go for it, I think you should. It's a healthy lifestyle as long as you're choosing to put a lot of the minerals and the vitamins into your body and not just eat junk food. Because any diet can be, there's goods and there's pros and cons to any diet. So I think it's a good idea if you decide you want to become vegan. Everyone should try it at least, I believe. We all need more vegetables. <laughs> I think the biggest myth about being vegan is that it's so expensive. 
honestly, it's not that expensive. If you go to the store, your meat and your cheese and your eggs and your dairy cost so much more than your vegetables. Everyone says that that's the case, but that's just because they're trying to get the processed items in the middle. But that goes the same with any other type of any other type of food product. If you want to grab a box of cheese, that you're going to pay a lot more than if you buy a then if you decide you want to go buy an apple or a pear, I mean, that's just kind of how it works. And, and sometimes I see it as you're investing into yourself now. The money that you're putting into yourself now is going to pay off in the long run. You won't have large medical bills where you're having to fork out two and $300 out of your pocket of your hard-earned money that you go to work for every day. Just taking care of yourself and knowing that if you decide to procreate or if you even decide to be a part of society in any way that you can help by telling other people about the healthiness of it and you're able to transfer that from yourself to your child or your offspring. The thing I love most about being a woman is the power that comes with it. Um, being a woman, you you empower so you empower the entire universe. I mean you can procreate number one, which is which by far means that to me everyone should respect you, honor you and care for you in in every stretch of your imagination. I think that women have a Women are strong enough to create, but then they're also soft enough to be able to nurture and care for and create balance in the universe. Um, we need women, and it it's just amazing to be able to say that I'm one of the people in this world that can make a difference. And you don't have to just be a man to be able to do it. Being a woman means that you're seeing things, you're, you're gonna create something new because the whole world has already been created behind a man's concept. So just being a woman in general just means that you're gonna bring new flair to the to the picture and I love that part. 1207 hopefully in the near future for 1207 we'll be starting our restaurant permanently um, getting us up getting ourselves a brick and mortar. I'm really looking forward to being able to see our customers on a regular basis and actually being able to talk to them and interact with them and showing putting our vision into an actual experience. Uh, so that's what 1207 will probably end up going. I'll see myself right there with 1207 working behind the scenes for a while. I'm kind of happy to be here. I've been growing a lot. This company has brought me to a place in my life that I never thought I'd be. So I'm grateful and I see myself going pretty far with this.